Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I checked the pipe fittings for leaks when I installed the pipes for my compressor in my shop. As you saw in my previous videos, I showed you my compressor, the pipe setup, which goes all the way around my shop. As you know, there's a lot of fittings and pipe involved when you plumb your shop for compressor use. So when you're done plumbing all your pipes, you want to make sure you don't have a leak because what's going to happen is your compressor is going to keep coming on all the time because the air pressure will diminish over time from the air leak. What I use to check for leaks is a bit of water and dish soap and a paintbrush. Just mix it all up till you get suds. And then I went over each fitting where it connects to another one and did this with a paintbrush. And if you see the suds bubbling up like this, that means there's a leak. I didn't know there was a leak here, but what I'm gonna to do to repair this today is just tighten up this fitting here. Hopefully that will fix the leak. If not, I'm gonna take it apart and put some more pipe dope on it and put it back in. So as you saw, I just tightened up the fittings and now the leak is gone. Like I said, if the leak persists again, I'm gonna take the fitting out and put some more pipe dope and screw it back in. And I meticulously did this to every fitting or where there's a connection. And if you don't see any bubbling, then you know that you don't have a leak there. In this case, this is good. And I even checked for leaks where the fittings go into my air tools. If you leave your air tools plugged in all the time and there's a small leak over here, it will cause the air pressure to go down and your compressor to start all the time. So I made sure that the air tools were connected when I checked for leaks. And also where these connectors connect on the hose, I checked. So basically you just follow your pipe and at each connector you do the same thing. And make sure to dip your brush every so often back in the soap solution. By the way, this is a dish soap, it's sunlight. The Dawn and the Sunlight work really good. Also, if you have a clean paintbrush, it's even better. This one's a bit dirty, so the suds aren't as big as they would be normally. Now, another option you have is you can use a spray bottle, put some water and dish soap in there, and then you can just spray the connectors. And again, if you don't see any bubbles, then you're okay. It's really important that when you check for leaks that you have your air pressure pretty well at the maximum that it goes on your compressor. By having the pressure up like that, you know that if there is going to be a leak, that that's the time it's going to happen. You also want to check all the fittings, even where it screws into your pressure regulator, like right over here and on this side where it comes in. You also want to check the back of the pressure gauge where it's screwed into the pressure regulator. I also check the compressor fittings as well all these where the pressure gauge screws into the compressor as well was checked and don't forget to check the drain valve underneath in this case I put a ball valve so I had to check every connection on this pipe over here also if you have a hose reel you want to check all those connections as well because if you have an air leak it will affect the whole system as well so I checked all this and also where it connects into the main system so it's that easy to check for leaks in your air system. All you need is a paintbrush, dish soap and water, or a spray bottle with water and dish soap inside. Thanks for watching guys, and you'll see me next time. Have a nice day.